Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. If you are interested in flash photography, there are two types of flashes. One TTL flash, second manual flash. TTL stands for through the lens. In this video, I will be telling you about these two flashes, TTL and manual. Now let's understand the manual flash. There is a manual flash inbuilt in your camera. This flash gives you a fixed intensity of light and has a fixed direction. It does not allow any variation of lighting. To get a variation of lighting, we have to use an external manual flash. We can tilt and turn the flash so that we don't get a harsh glare that we sometimes get from a direct flash. This allows us to bounce the light on the subject by turning or tilting the flash. This flash can be mounted directly on a camera or can be separately mounted and attached through to the camera through a cable. This flash also has a sensor which allows it to be used in a slave mode. For this we use a trigger attached to the camera. Manual flashes also come with an inbuilt bounce card and a diffuser. These flashes are battery operated and we can take between 300 to 400 pictures depending on the intensity of the flash. Usually these flashes cost between 1800 to 2500. If you look at the bottom of the manual flash, there will be a single pin. This is used to trigger your flash manually when you click the camera. Let us see how we use a manual flash. Just as you have the manual mode in a camera, where you adjust every setting like the shutter speed, aperture and ISO etc. In order to take a photograph with a manual flash, you have to fix the intensity of the flash manually according to the surrounding lighting conditions. The manual flash does not detect any light on its own. In the manual flash, the intensity of the light is fixed and this is how you change the intensity of the flash. That is why the photographer has to understand the lighting conditions and adjust the light settings on the flash before taking a photograph. Now let us talk about the TTL flash. As you remember TTL flash stands for through the lens. In an external TTL, TTL flash we can also tilt and turn the flash so that we can avoid the harsh glare which we get from a direct flash. We can bounce the light by turning or tilting the flash. This flash can also be mounted directly on the camera and it can be attached to the camera through a cable. This flash also has a sensor which allows it to be used in a slave mode. The trigger for this is always attached in a camera. TTL flashes also come with a bounce card and a diffuser. This is a typical display of a TTL flash. TTL flashes can be used in several modes. The TTL mode, the manual mode, the repeat mode and the TTL automatic mode. Some of these flashes can also zoom in and zoom out. As you can see in this flash 24mm to 180mm. This allows you to focus the flash on the subject or expand the area of the flash. These flashes also have FEB which is flash exposure bracket. This allows you to change the intensity of the flash manually when required. These flashes are battery operated and ca can take photographs up to 300 to 400 photographs depending on the intensity of the flash lighting we use. Usually these TTL flashes cost between 3500 to 4000 rupees. If you look at the bottom of the TTL flash, there are multiple pins. These are used to process the lighting and adjust the flash when you click from the camera. Let's 
let's see how we can use the TTL flash. In the camera we have the aperture priority mode or the shutter speed mode or the auto mode where the camera automatically calculates the exposure needed, adjusts the aperture, shutter speed etc to get the light exposure. When we use the TTL flash, the flash automatically calculates the correct intensity of the flash and then gives light according to the requirement. In other words, the flash constantly changes the amount of light from the flash depending on the lighting conditions. When we use the TTL flash and press the shutter button, the TTL flash creates a pre-flash. The flash sends out a small amount of light on the subject. This light is reflected back into the camera. The camera takes into account the distance between the subject and the camera and then calculates the aperture, shutter speed and ISO based on the lighting conditions and tells the flash what intensity of light is needed for the right exposure. Once all this is calculated, then the TTL flash gives a second flash with the correct intensity of light. This is what is used to take the photograph. Now if the lighting conditions are poor, then the flash intensity will be higher. And if the lighting conditions are good, the intensity of the flash will be lower. It will automatically be adjusted and you won't have to worry about the lighting on the subject. Because of this, the TTL flash saves the amount of battery it consumes. Now a question is, which flash should we use, a TTL one or a manual one? To understand which type of flash we should use, we must first look at the lighting conditions. If the lighting is con going to be controlled one, where the intensity will not be changing very frequently, then it's best to use a manual flash, where we have set the amount of light required in the flash. So if you are inside a house or a banquet hall or the event is where there is sufficient artificial lighting which is not going to vary from place to place, we use a manual flash. In dynamic lighting conditions, where lighting conditions are changing, it's best to use a TTL flash. This way the amount of flash intensity required will automatically be adjusted by the flash and you won't have to worry about getting an underexposed or an overexposed image. In dynamic lighting conditions, many times we do not have the time to adjust the inten intensity of the manual flash or else we might lose the moment by trying to adjust the in intensity. This is more true where we do not have a chance to take the photograph again. For example, in a wedding, well, if a moment is lost, we won't get it again. In such situations, we should use a TTL flash as this adjusts the intensity of the flash automatically and relieves us of the bother of adjusting the light from the flash. So go, go ahead and choose wisely on the type of flash you want to use. Both manual and TTL flashes have their advantages and a good photographer knows which one to use when. I just wanted to remind you, please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get more notifications when I upload some new videos.